Hello, everybody. Welcome to Build Fly Go. So great progress this week. So we're trying to tie off a number of loose ends and uh, get ourselves to the point where we can um, get started on that canopy top, right? So the next big part we're going to be working on is the big fiberglass part that goes over the top. So we're getting all of these push rods done, um, which means uh, they, they've all been primed at this point and their sort of fittings have been primed. And it's a question of now matching up this pile of fittings that we have to the push rods and getting the rod and bearings in place and uh, measuring everything and getting them to the right length. Most of them, uh, the length doesn't change. Um, the, there's a couple that are going to be have some minor adjustment uh, once we get the um, actual control surfaces in place. You'll also notice that uh, I'm working on the brakes a little bit more. Um, the previous week I had, uh, or maybe it's this week, um, we had shipped a couple of hoses off to get uh, adjusted. And uh, those should be arriving. And you'll notice the pedals are gone. They're still at the powder coat guy. They're going to be there for a couple more weeks, is my guess. He had to order. We finally picked the um, color. Uh, I believe the color is called zombie green. <laughs> and uh, he had to order the, the powder for that. So that took a little bit. Uh, I'm working on the door here. So the door, um, now that everything, like all of those previous parts got primed, uh, I managed to put the door in place for good. You see the... The uh, lock is in place as well, so I can fit it. Um, I'm still going to have to f futz with it a little bit, you know, fidget with the, the shape of the door. It fits nice and tight, except for the bottom um, is sort of pull, pushed out a little bit, so it's not flush with the skin. So I'm going to have to mess with that, but uh, I'm not going to worry about until that about until, wait, worry about that until uh, we're much further in. Uh, so... Uh, you saw me riveting on the sort of some of the structural elements over there uh, of that crossbar and working on more um, push rods. I believe those are the wing ones. Um, I'm just trying to get a lot of this stuff out of the way, right? Like I've got primed parts sitting on the shelf that I primed ahead of time or I had primed previous, previously and didn't get back to. So that's that. Um, more breaks, I believe at this point I received, uh, yeah, I received some of the, the parts, so we're getting that in place. Um, this week I did finish up the internal hoses, other than the ferry tank hose, um, the internal hoses, and I did a separate video for that, which I'll be publishing later this week. Um, I need to edit it up a little bit, and, uh, you'll see it probably mid to late week. But, uh, the cool thing here is these hoses, um actually get done and it's it's nice to, to finish that off um, the remaining bits at the end of this week are getting the push rods uh, in place um, it turns out that I didn't have my safety wire stuff the safety wire and the pliers and all that here they're at the hangar so I had to go get them and I did that on Sunday so that'll get installed and then I did need to look over the plans I believe it's the control sticks uh, after that Mary shows up with pizza the way to my heart, um, and uh, the control sticks then are next, and then I don't know if there's anything left before we start trimming fiberglass, which is going to be a humongous mess. <laughs> Not really looking forward to that, um, but it is uh, sort of part of the struggle, right, is uh, there's, there's fiberglass to work on. So you'll notice that uh, I'm working on a number of the weld mints now, and those are the control sticks. Um, the control stick weldments, uh, of course, had a lot of rough parts on them, so a lot of grinding and to, to sort of get them in place. Um, my valve finally showed up. Uh, this took a while, so I spent a couple of days working on getting that valve in place. Uh, you'll notice that, I don't know if you can actually see in here, that I'm using the Andair valve. Andair makes some very nice valves. Um, I am using the Airflow Performance Pump and not the Andair Pump. Um, the Andair Pump has had uh, issues, unfortunately, uh, recently. If you go check uh, Vans Air Force, you'll notice that there are a lot of complaints, um, unfortunately, about the uh, Andair fuel pump uh, that people use in the RV14. So a lot of people have actually moved to the Airflow Performance Pump on the 14. Um, less of an issue on the 10, but, uh, you know, it was something I was considering going to the Andair one until I discovered these, these issues. So you'll notice that this valve requires an extension kit. Um, 
The valve is unfortunately really expensive. Uh, with the extension kit, it was 300 bucks for a valve. Um, honestly, it is worth it over the stock valve. The stock valve that comes with the kit is terrible. <laughs> um, it works great, right? Like works perfectly fine. It's just ugly. That's all. <laughs> um, and this this one works really nice and it's, it's worthwhile. Uh, so part of this is every time you modify something in a kit like this, it takes forever to um, make the change, right? So I had to make a bracket, fit the bracket, um, you know, fit everything around the bracket, right? The extension kit and the, the face plate goes on top. Um, and then of course, once you have everything ready and done, you realize that, oh crud, this isn't perfectly aligned. And you say, tell yourself, oh, it'll be fine. Nobody can tell, right? Like it's off by like three degrees. Um, it's just a, a, a you know, if I stare at it, I can tell that it's slightly off. And then you go to bed and you can't sleep because this, the damn valve is off by three degrees and you know it. Nobody else can tell, but you know it. So then the next day you come out and you spend another three hours working on making another bracket. <laughs> this is honestly part of building airplanes, right? And part of uh, being a little bit of a um, perfectionist is things like that are important, right? Like you want it to look good and you want to spend some time uh, making it look good. And sometimes you have to go back and redo things. It is what it is. Um, hopefully there's going to be some cleanup in this workshop soon. It's getting to be a mess and uh, it's getting to be hard to find things. There we go. Slowly cleaning up. Um, but it means that uh, we're getting to, you know, some final, final points here, right? To get things ready. Those are the flap Oh yeah, I do have to put the flap motor in. Those are the flap push rods, um, push rods, torque tubes. They're torque tubes, um, and uh, those get done, and they're going to be put in place uh, this week with the flap motor. And then I think we're almost done. Then we're ready for the cabin top. And uh, there's going to be a lot of complaining about fiberglass. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk soon. Have a good one.